Hello and welcome back to A Boring Revolution, your number one news source for everything in regards to the Boring Company and Elon Musk. So I've been thinking about this channel for quite a bit in terms of what I can add to it, how can I uh, adapt the channel to make it a bit more interesting, to gain extra subscribers. Um, and I've come up with a, a new uh, video format which hopefully should uh, help us grow our subscribers and make it a bit more interesting for you guys. Um, so here it is. So what do I want to do? A new video format. Weekly predictions. Now, um, a lot of the, uh, the Boeing Company um, stuff that I talk about is predictions it's based on common sense it's based on how I feel is the most uh, sensible most cost-effective way of doing it and uh, it's not generally based on facts because there aren't that many facts in regards to the Boeing company we have the odd snippet of information we have the odd um, you know conference or talk or Elon Musk talks about the Boeing company briefly but uh, there's a lot of information that we don't actually know yet and a lot of information that's probably going to change from what we've seen already so i thought we could come up with this uh new weekly format whereby we predict something then we actually go back and have a look at it and say you know, what was that uh, a solid prediction was it based on uh, facts was it based on common sense was it based on uh, you know, re reputable news sources or was it just based on rumours? So, a new format is whereby I predict something, whether it's how they're going to construct the tunnels, how the TBMs are going to be modified, etc., etc. And then we look back at, at it in a year's time and we say, was that a good prediction? Was it stupid? <laughs> Did it make any sense? Did it make sense at the time, but given the, all the new information, it kind of doesn't really seem to make sense in a year's time so hopefully it's an interesting thing for us to do um, so I thought we'd start off with our weekly prediction for this week and um, pretty confident about this one I must admit the boring bricks will sell like hotcakes ie they will be sold out now why do I think that well just looking at the flamethrower and the baseball cap they sold out in a matter of weeks you can't get hold of them now they are a limited run item therefore they are collectible and because Elon Musk is involved people want to buy it and it's interesting it's interesting it's fun it's collectible and it, it probably will grow in value your flamethrower and your baseball cap will be, probably would be worth 300% what you paid for it in five years time so now bricks bricks are not the most interesting thing in the world it basically usually it's just a lump of concrete or a lump of clay in this case it's basically uh, compressed earth or compressed rocks um, not very interesting however I think to uh, builders people in the property industry uh, and uh, DIYers, do-it-yourselfers, um, it, it's a product that they want. So, number one, cost. Ten cent is one-third the price of a standard brick. And that is your absolute cheap, cheapest chips, bog-standard brick. Uh, is around 34 cent. Is the cheapest I could find it online. So, ten cent is a huge uh, undercutting of that price. Straight away. If you're putting extension on your house, if you're building a garden wall, um, even if you're just doing some general work in your garden, maybe brick paving, straight away you look at that and you think, "Wow, that's that's really cheap." You know, I definitely could save myself a lot of money if I used these bricks on my project. Number two, they are very durable. I keep saying durable. What do I mean? I mean they've got very good compressional strength. They are very resistant to uh, sort of impact. Therefore, they are tough and they will have a long lifespan. We've been building with earth 
for the last five, six, maybe even 7,000 years, uh, there are buildings in Africa made of earth that have survived in excess of, I believe, 3,000, 4,000 years. So clearly, um, they will stand the test of time, which is always a great property of a material if you know it is going to outlive you. Number three is demand. Now, I touched on this a minute ago. It is a hyped product. Everything that Elon Musk turns to gold, the baseball cap sold out very, very quickly in a, in a few days. The flamethrower, again, less than a week, it was sold out. Or is it not a flamethrower? I should say that. It's not technically a flamethrower, even though it's going to cause fires. <laughs> even though it looks like a gun that's shooting fire, it's technically not a flamethrower. So, because it is a hype product, there will be a lot of demand. People might just, just buy it, just, just to hold on to it, just to say, oh, I've got a, one of the first ever boring bricks. You never know. It might have some kind of, it's what intrinsic value you place on that particular item. So because it's an Elon Musk product, people will buy it. It also won't be, necess to begin with, there will be quite low supply. There might be uh, several thousand bricks in any one time, so, you might have people turning up to the boring brick shop um, with the pickup truck and just saying, right, you know, how many can I fit on the back here? And once they do that, they might say, you know what, I'm going to come back in an hour's time. Uh, can you like hold some bricks for me? And then they end up taking, uh, you know, a couple thousand bricks, just one person, just for one project. So, you know, if they're producing, uh, you know, 30, 40,000 bricks every week, easily could be sold out. Uh, before it even gets to Thursday, Friday, never mind Sunday. So uh, got some got some pictures here. Um, got a shout out for these pictures actually at the end. Uh, excellent pictures, beautiful. It's great. It's great to see real close up shots of the bricks. As you can see here, they have these holes which are interlocking. Um, there is a protruding ring uh, above each hole, and that allows them to interlock. It could be used with uh, some uh, steel rebar to really interlock the, the blocks, the bricks together. However, simply just filling it with a, a good mortar mix will make the, the wall very strong. Um, yeah, incredibly durable product. It is available in various colors because obviously the geology changes as they are cutting through the ground. So the actual color of the bricks will change. It'd be quite nice to have some bricks that are sort of transitioning from sort of one color to the next, very sort of light color to, to very dark. And then it'd look quite cool if, um, you know, your first course of bricks on, on your house are kind of like a light color, and then it sort of phases into a, a sort of a darker, sort of maybe like a yellow or orange. That would look really good. I'd love to build a house that, that looks like that. It'd be a real interesting architectural feature. Uh, final thoughts. I hope to see this used in conjunction with in conjunction with thin joint masonry on affordable housing. Now, what do I mean when I say thin joint masonry? On a typical brick or block wall, you will use a 10 millimeters, it's just under half an inch of mortar to bond those bricks together. Now, obviously that has got to cure. You've got to give it time to, to go hard, um, which kind of delays you building the wall above uh, I believe it's 16, 18 courses. When you get above 18 courses, you have to wait for the mortar to dry. But there's a new system certainly being used uh, very heavily here in the United Kingdom called thin joint masonry. So you use either a two millimeter or three millimeter joint. And the actual cement that you use in the mortar is a, a special cement that sets very, very quickly. It takes around 10 to 15 minutes uh, to set once you've got it in place. So you can build a wall that is, uh, you know, 20 foot tall uh, in a day if you have enough uh, brick layers. Uh, and obviously it makes it very fast, very affordable, and you could use it on affordable housing, which definitely is needed in California and in the UK as well. Uh, DIY enthusiasts could use it for various projects, sheds, garden walls. It's really, if you're just starting up and you want to learn uh, how to build a masonry wall, uh, this is a perfect system to start with, nice cheap uh, bricks, and you can learn it 
uh, you can learn how to build a brick wall online now. It's, it's relatively simple. As long as you take your time and, and listen to uh, uh, the advice of the people instructing you, you could build almost a perfect wall uh, with you know a day's practice, if, if not less than that. Multiple colours, obviously the geology affects the colour of the bricks. You can ov obviously add, add like a pigment to um, the cement uh, and the uh, the rocks that you pull from the uh, the tunnels. And again, you can have it any colour you wish. Depends what sells well. Um, and <laughs> this is kind of a question. How do I get a few dozen bricks? I'd love to get hold of some bricks. Uh, just play around with them and test them out. Maybe try and smash a few of them. Uh, put them in the fridge, put them in the freezer, just, just see how durable these uh, uh, earth bricks really are. Uh, I think we'll find out that they're absolutely tough as old boots. Really look very, very solid from what I've seen. Uh, so, you know, how would I get hold of them? It, it, obviously very heavy, so getting them up here from the USA probably be quite expensive. Um, but, you know, leave it to me, I'll think about it. Um, shout out, yeah. Very important, a lot of those pictures that I've used uh, have come from a fellow YouTuber who uh, got in touch with me, a really, really nice guy. Uh, here he is, uh, this is Blake. He's got uh, his own YouTube uh, channel, he's, he's been doing this for a good couple of years, called In The Hyperloop. Um, I've been watching it now for around about a year or so, but it's a really, really good web, um, sorry, uh, YouTube channel, he has his own website as well. But it's a good YouTube channel for learning about the Hyperloop. Obviously, there's various companies um, building, doing R&D into the Hyperloop. Uh, and, and this guy here, Blake, um, has been researching it and really looking into it. Um, he's actually uh, uh, talked about uh, building a Hyperloop in uh, Denver, Colorado, which is where he's from. Um, he's got excellent knowledge on the Hyperloop. And he, his videos on YouTube really kind of summarize... Uh, what's been going on in that particular week or fortnight uh, and really it's quite like concise information he puts it all he does all the hard work for us he reads all the news and then he puts it into a nice uh, quick sort of 10-15 minute segment um, and it's perfect for learning about the hyperloop uh, which is a phenomenal piece of technology it's really come on over the last two years really exciting uh, space uh, and, and blake's uh, knowledge really shows um on his channel i would absolutely recommend subscribing to his channel you can learn a lot about the hyperloop and he also keeps you up to date with uh, progress of the various companies obviously there's uh, in excess of 20 different companies working in this space uh, trying to keep up with them all yourself is quite difficult so blake summarizes it all puts it together really really professional really professionally put together um, so I definitely recommend that you go and, and check out his uh, his website and also his YouTube channel. I'll put that in the uh, in the links in the description below. So thank you, thanks for Blake for the pictures. Thank you for everyone watching today. Appreciate it. Channel's growing. I'm feeling really confident about this whole YouTube thing now. Um, to begin with, it was quite difficult, uh, but I'm sort of getting into the uh, the swing of producing videos every sort of three or four days. Uh, when I've got time away from work, I, I do actually really enjoy doing this. It's uh, it's like being back at university again almost and, and trying to uh, think uh, like theoretically about the project and how it could be built and all the pros and cons. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's really great guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Really appreciate everyone who's liking this channel. If you've not done so already, pre please subscribe, hit the bell icon and then you get updated of all the, the videos, including this uh, new uh, format here, which is the weekly predictions, which is going to be, I'm going to predict absolutely everything you can think of. So it's going to be interesting. Okay, uh, I'd, I'd appreciate some feedback on this new video format. What do you guys think about it? There is a new video out tomorrow. It's on a very serious uh, topic. I've had a, a long, hard think about this, and I think it's worth talking about um, certainly allays some concerns i have about the project and hopefully people who are concerned about the project can learn from my video which is out tomorrow thank you thank you for watching guys really really appreciate it please tune in again sometimes and remember guys don't be boring goodbye have a nice day goodbye